My name is Brooke Ford and my educational giant report is on William C. Bagley. The founder of Essential Educational History, key consultant in the Teachers College, and an important role in developing the Department of Education would lead us to the educa educational giant of William Bagley. Growing up in the late 1800s, there was never a set example in way of education for teachers and students. Bagley saw change in the future as he attended colleges and worked under highly known personnel to accomplish what he wanted to do, create a better education system. Bagley was such a key role in that time as he created the Department of Education and later entering the School of Education to have his thoughts and ideas heard. In 1917, he joined the Teachers College, becoming for more than 20 years the nation's Dean of Normal Schools or Dean of Teacher Education. He had a true desire for education and making it what it should be in the future. He published his first theory, Education and Emergent Man, a theory of education with particular application to public education in the United States. This is one of his most influential pieces that he wrote. Retiring from the Teachers College and soon passing away in 1946, William C. Bagley can be remembered as a fighter for a professional education, a supporter of the academic disciplines, and both a critic and supporter of different aspects of the complex movement known as progressive education. Bagley was born in Detroit, Michigan in the year 1887. Soon after, his family moved to the East Coast and he attended an elementary school in Weymouth, Massachusetts. For high school, they moved back to Detroit and he graduated from Detroit's Capitol High School in 1891. In college at Michigan's Agricultural College, he had the intention of becoming a farmer. Soon after, he realized that farming wasn't what he wanted in life, so he decided to teach and accepted a job in a rural town of Michigan. In this time period, there was no real set education plan. Students were taught to read and write, mathematics and science, in a small one-room schoolhouse. Bagley saw change in the future for the education programs. His whole view was improving teaching methods. He taught at that elementary school in Michigan for two years and later attended more schooling to get his master's degree in psychology. Bagley worked under Edward Titchener, a well-known psychologist who was a huge role model to Bagley. As Titchener mentored him for four years, Bagley was still committed to the improvement of good teaching and Titchener helped him complete his PhD and began going on his own to follow what he wanted to do most. He accepted his first professorship job as director of the teacher practice school and became active throughout the state by speaking to teachers in different institutes. His first book, Educative Process, was written while working in Montana and was considered the science of education. From his first book, he gained a national and even international fame because it was well-received and well-known by many professors all over the world. Working at Oswego for two years, he accepted his first state university position at the University of Illinois. Bagley helped it to develop the, de the Department of Education to the point that it became one of the most well-known in the nation. During that same time, he was a founder of Kappa Delta fee in opening door to international societies and education. After inheriting the Department of Education, Bagley worked to create a school of education. This transition ultimately required three main ingredients, an additional number of educational faculty members, the construction of a building to school to house a school, and the creation of a program that permitted the school of education to enroll its own students. This was important to him because then he could create what he wanted to see in his school of education. <clears throat> he also believed that if teachers were going to teach, they had to be taught how to teach as well. There had to be a curriculum for them so that they can become the best teachers they can for the students. This led him to the Teachers College at Columbia University, where he joined an excellent education faculty. Bagley never denied the importance of designing a curriculum that met the interests and needs of students. Bagley was such a strong supporter for the students of the curriculum that has an impact on us because we are those students he was talking about in the future. He created an education that will help us become the best students and make an impact on this world through it. His most significant contribution to educational theory was his Education and Emergent Man, a theory of education with particular application to public education in the United States. As he combined psychology to teaching, it showed what Bagley wanted teachers to be in the future. Throughout his life, he supported both the academic disciplines and certain basic tenets of progressive education. William C. Bagley was such an influential part to the education system, establishing many different theories and having a strong view of what he wanted education to be. 
He wouldn't have had the same impact if he didn't speak his voice, and I'm so grateful that he did because now we have the great education system that we do today. Education has developed rapidly, and now there are students like us trying to learn from people like him to become amazing teacher teachers to our students.